Hello, in this video tutorial I'll demonstrate writing a rhythmic background for brass section. This is a special case of the percussive ensemble arranging technique. And I'll discuss part distribution over and voicing aspects for trumpet and trombone section. You'll find the score examples from this video tutorial in my ebook Arranging by Examples, the practical guide to jazz and pop orchestra arranging, available in the webshop. In this series we discuss ensemble arranging techniques, here specifically the writing of a percussive brass section phrase. The score example is a rhythmic background over a basic harmony in the rhythm, that is shown below the bottom staff. The key is C major. We see a number of very short phrases and brass 8 note stabs. In this type of arranging detailed phrasing, articulation and dynamics are important. Listen to the lead in a relaxed medium tempo swing style. We must distribute parts from extended chords over the three trumpets and three trombones. In example 1 we pick chord extensions that will maximize the C major tonal flavor, see the yellow markings. For non-diatonic dominant chords, shown in orange, we apply the flat 9 extension. Looking at the trombone section, note that the close position voicings contain the essential chordal functions 3 and 7, as indicated by the numbers in the score. Trumpets are also in close position and use a mix of triad and cluster voicing. The triads are shown above the staff. The clusters extend from lower trumpets in seconds to the upper trombone, and these are marked as blue lines. There are two secondary dominant seven chords in this example, a subject covered in the series on sectional harmony writing. Here we use the B flat dominant nine and the D dominant 9, with chordal function distribution shown. Listen to the audio for the full ensemble in bucket mutes and the separate trumpet and trombone group. Also important is the interval content in the pairs of lead and outer parts. Example 2 is based on the identical harmony, rhythmic phrases and brass stabs in mid-low register. This time we release the diatonic idiom restriction and will use all possible non-diatonic chord extensions. The lead part pitches are different now.
Again, the trombone section voicing contains the essential chordal functions plus one additional other function. In the trumpet group we see a number of non-diatonic and altered extensions, such as the sharp 11. This more modern idiom yields other chord types than just the major and minor triad. This is shown above the staff. And again we apply a very close cluster type voicing between lower trumpets and upper trombones, as marked in yellow. The example also shows a phrase with contrary opening motion between outer parts, in measures 2 to 4. We play the instrument groups first, then the open brass ensemble, and finally the combination of lead and outer parts. We return to our example, this time with a voicing in the mid-high register, with the trumpet section voiced in triads only. This example has the brass playing straight mutes. The lead part pitches are different, but the rhythmic pattern has not changed. Again, we will use various non-diatonic extensions. When the lead trumpet plays in the high register, it makes sense to double lead trombone at the lower octave. As usual, we find the essential 3 and 7 in the trombones. Also note in this, and compare with the previous examples, that we may find the interval of major or minor second between trombone 1 and 2. The upper chordal function voicing in the trumpet group, shown here, yields a maximum number of close position, major and minor triads. Quite a number of these are still diatonic in the key of C major. Listen to this ensemble, the individual instrument groups and the pairs of lead and outer parts. In the final approach to this example, we apply a low register setting, returning to open brass and a more relaxed tempo. I'll demonstrate the sound when we apply simple 7th chords only, 
omitting all higher chordal functions. Dominant 7th chords are marked in yellow. Listen to the lead. See the part distribution in the trombones and note the chromatic exact parallel motion in the phrase in measures 2 to 4. There is more voicing variation in the articulate 8 note stabs. Parallelism also occurs in the close position trumpet triads, once again listed above the staff. I'll play both instrument groups first, then the usual lead parts interval quality check and conclude with the brass ensemble. There is a detailed discussion of these brass section examples in the chapter on ensemble techniques in my arranging book. Order the book from the web store and receive your copy within 24 hours. Follow the link in the description below. Please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button when appropriate. Help me in growing an audience, spread the news and feel free to share these videos. If you would like to support my tutorial production work, please make a PayPal donation. You'll see the link to the donate button below. Visit my website for free content in the document library and more ebooks in the webshop. Thanks for watching. <music>